COVID-19 is the topic on everyone's mind. Yeah, from big game cancellations to the halting of parades, officials are doing everything to fight the spread of the virus. And right now, we're going to bring in Mayor Paul Tenhaken to explain a little bit about what this emergency declaration means. You know, an emergency declaration is the term we use. Uh, but that allows us to kick some things into place and allow us to move a little more quickly as a city. So, um, you know, my message to people has been we're operating in an overabundance of caution. Mm -hmm. We're not in panic mode. Even though we call this an emergency declaration, that's the term that right. the law uses. Um, but we're doing this in order to ensure that we're trying to slow the spread of this. That's the number one priority for the city right now. Slow in the spread. You've heard the term uh, flatten the curve. How do we flatten the curve, flatten the spread so that uh, we keep the city safe? And you're being focused on this. You're starting an emergency operations center, is that right? Yep, we're standing up in an EOC, emergency operations center, today. Again, the term emergency, I hate using that right. um, because it strikes a little bit of, of panic in people. But uh, that allows us just to have a coordinated effort, coordinated response with communications, working with uh, Avera, Sanford, the state health officials who are really the lead on this. Uh, to ensure that we're responding quickly, uh, accurately, communicating well with the public, who all have a lot of questions right now, and that's really important is educating people on what they need to know. And how long do you expect this all to continue? You know, it's tough to say. We put in a, a, an ordinance last night that our city council passed where we're going to limit events at our city-owned facilities to 250 people or less. We closed a few facilities like the Midco uh, and some others just to be safe. We're doing that for 14 days. And then we'll reassess then and determine, do we have to continue this uh, or do we uh, feel like we're in a good spot where we can kind of lift that? And what would be your advice for people? Obviously, here in, in South Dakota, we're used to hunkering down for snowstorms, not yeah. necessarily something like this. Yeah, you know, the, the term that's getting used a ton, and it's very applicable, is that social distancing. If you can avoid large events and avoid situations where you're around a lot of people, do that. For me personally, that's going to look like, uh, sorry, Pastor, but I'm going to skip church on Sunday, mm -hmm. and I'm going to stay home instead and, and, you know, worship remote, things like that. So if you can avoid those situations, do that. That's why we're putting in the ordinance to limit the uh, size of the events. Uh, and also, the, the key, if you're not feeling well, stay home, call your doctor. That's really, really critical. And a message for people who have to go to work. If you have to go to work, practice the same things. The hygiene is so critical. And I know it sounds like a broken record, but man, that hand washing, you can't do that enough. Distance yourself from your coworkers. Some people may say, yes, finally. Uh, but <laughs> distance yourself from people as much as you can. Uh, and that will really slow the spread. Seattle, play, New York, places like that, uh, I think are in a tougher spot because I don't think they enacted some of these measures early enough. And so this allows us to try and get a proactive approach in place to prevent the spread of, of CV in, uh, in our region. Anything else you'd like to say this morning? You know, I, I think the big thing is we're not in a state of panic. You know, we, we create emergency declaration, quote unquote, just to kick some of these things into effect. Um, but Sioux Falls is in a good spot. We got good health officials. So continue with your lives as normal. Just be very smart on who you're around and the type of people you're around and how many people you're around. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks guys. for joining us. Let's get a